Cadence of Conflict, Asia, February 25, 2019. Nations and peoples of the free world are reaching toward each other. The EU reached out to Taiwan and Taiwan was grateful. Taiwan reached out to CNN and CNN did an interview. Kim Jong-un is likely on a train headed through China to Vietnam to meet President Trump. President Trump met with the Vice Premier of China in the Oval Office to discuss trade. And China rightly oppresses an estimated 2 million Muslims in internment camps who inhabit the hope to break away province of Xinjiang, through which China's Silk Road passes to reach other nations with trillions of dollars in trade. Taiwan's position in the world only stepped up. In tech, it's the multinational victim of China. The EU's unanimous statement of support for Taiwan and condemnation of China's military activity in the Taiwan Strait is anything but positive PR for China. Taiwan has the support of Europe. And that doesn't count for nothing. China's latest shenanigans include Hong Kong taking a serious look at redefining extradition laws so that Taiwanese in Hong Kong would be extradited to China. This does far more damage for Hong Kong's popularity with its electorate at home than it does for Taiwan, raising international sympathy for both. Remember, meddling in Hong Kong's government is a must not as the condition of Hong Kong not remaining under Britain. Nothing would indicate Chinese meddling in Hong Kong's government more than such a sure-to-fire anti-PR move like Hong Kong is making by even entertaining such a revision. The fingerprints of Beijing damaging Hong Kong where British interests remain, all in order to damage Taiwan, goes against the wisdom of courting favor with the masses across Europe. Then there's Huawei. As if international scandals implicating China weren't enough, Huawei's founder made the narcissistic comment that the world can't live without Huawei. In Chinese culture, that might make enough people feel compelled to comply. But the God-fearing West will take the self-absorbed claim as a challenge, much how God took the challenge when experts said he couldn't sink the Titanic. Huawei just might take its place in the hall of sunken fame. No, the West does not. Not too many years from now, when a finance guru claims that a company is too big to fail, the public will respond, remember Huawei. That is the cadence of the conflict already seen in the Pacific.